This is a test rig that we use to simulate a TT system. As we know, with a TT system, you would have to have an RCD as a main switch and RCDs throughout the board. Now, sometimes you can use RCBOs um, for every circuit if you want to, or maybe you want just a split board because of cost, so you've got half of the board with another RCD and two circuit breakers. The choice is really yours. You can do it whichever way you like. If you come across a board like this, of course, if we're installing one like this anyway, we need to make sure that if there's a fault on this side of the board, it doesn't trip the RCD on this side. So the only way we can do that is to install as a main switch an S-type or a time-delayed type of RCD. Okay? This is a 100 milliamp time-delayed RCD. This is a 30 milliamp ordinary RCD. So if this RCD trips, this RCD isn't going to recognise the fault for at least 150 milliseconds, by which time this will have tripped with a bit of luck. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how this works. I'm going to do an RCD test. You can only do it with an RCD test instrument because we're, we're really measuring the time that it takes to switch off. If you've got a BS RCD, it's going to trip it, or should trip in 200 milliseconds. If it's BSEN, it must trip within 300 milliseconds. BSEN would be really a, a circuit breaker, um, an RCBO. Okay? So if I now turn this to 30 milliamps, which is what the rating is of this RCD, turn it to times a half and plug it in. Okay, now, switch it on, tells me there's voltage there. If I now push the button, it shouldn't trip within two seconds. Two seconds is the vital time, okay. I now set this to times one, which is going to allow an imbalance of 30 milliamps within the RCD. At this point, it should trip within 200 milliseconds, okay, because this is a BS type. Push the button. It's tripped within 200 milliseconds, it's 34.9. So, perfectly okay, less than 200. But of course, that's only on one side of the waveform. If you see, that's got a zero there. What I really need to do is test the current going both ways. So I push this button here and now it's telling me it's 180 degrees. Turn the RCD back on again, push the button. Again, it's tripped within 26 milliseconds, which is really quick, as I say, 200 is the maximum. I now set this to times five, turn it back on, Push the button, 12.6 milliseconds. Need to do it at 180 degrees. Turn it back on, push the button, and it's tripped within 6.8 milliseconds. So that's very fast because on times five it should trip within 40 milliseconds. So this RCD is perfectly okay, everything's working as it should be. Thank you.